The story of admission is about uh, Tina Fey plays a woman who works in the Princeton admissions office and she's made a bunch of decisions in her life. She doesn't want to get married, she doesn't want to have kids, um, and she's going to basically stay in the same job for the rest of her life. And then all these dominoes that she's carefully set up uh, fall during the course of the movie. Um, and so uh, it was very important to me to have somebody like Tina being able to play it because you need to believe that somebody's smart enough to trick themselves into thinking, that's it, I'm salted away, this is the rest of my life. This is your first film with a leading lady protagonist. Uh -huh. Tell me what appealed to you most about um, Portia Nathan. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, my first one was American Pie, um, which clearly had a bunch of male protagonists. Um, although at the same time, my brother and I were keen to have that be a movie that uh, girls could see and that wasn't as misogynistic as uh, most of the films in that genre. Um, however, I was very embarrassed to realize that uh, this being my ninth film, <laughs> that I had not yet directed a film with a clear female lead. Um, and uh, there's no different approach to anything. It's just um, I was really excited uh, to find this uh, story that I thought I'd be able to tell properly and, and the only lead um, that I thought could, could do it best. Okay. Also, I think, you know, there's a lot of stories about men having a hard time expressing their emotions, but the fact is that, um, <laughs> that uh, uh, Nowadays, it's not that strange uh, to have a character um, like Tina's who uh, is uh, basically decided they don't want to have any maternal feelings in life and, and to have her sort of having these feelings uh, for this oddball kid who's applied to the school and being willing to do anything to, to help him get into to Princeton uh, was, was cool. Um, working on this film, did it bring back any unpleasant memories of your college admission days? <laughs> Uh, well, <clears throat> it didn't bring back any memories of trying to get into Princeton uh, because that was certainly not going to be uh, part of the equation for me. Um, uh, it, I, I vaguely remember being anxious about the whole thing, but, um, but uh, I think I was always suspicious about this idea that uh, whether you get into a place is going to determine your, your worth. Um, and uh, if I sort of look back, a lot of the kids who I went to school with who went to the most prestigious schools didn't necessarily find their way in life. Like that was sort of the peak. <laughs> I think it's good to peak at around age 80 or something in life. Um, and uh, so uh, it didn't make me anxious on that level. They're, they're both really smart and really funny, and I certainly called upon that and then on their ability to ad lib. Um, and they seem to really like each other, which is great. I would say on the last day of shooting, they were such good chums that um, we were shooting a scene where the two characters had just met each other and were having dinner for the first time and sort of learning about each other, but Tina and Paul were very comfortable with each other and, and drinking a little bit of wine during the, <laughs> during the day shooting. And I had to go up and remind them that these characters don't know each other or necessarily particularly like each other at this point. Um, so the, it, was, it was really nice, and, and they're both extremely polite, uh, nice people who are not overly uh, besotted with their own stardom. And what was it like working with an iconic star like Lily Tomlin? Um, when you're working with an iconic star, I mean, I had seen her films that she did with Robert Altman, um, and obviously I know her as a great comedy figure, but I also knew that she was a powerhouse actress. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, she's, um, uh, she really wants to get swept up in the character, and uh, she plays Tina's domineering mom in the movie. <laughs> and so I was really happy for her for Tina to be dealing with somebody who was bringing a huge amount of passion into scenes. And even when the camera's not on her, she was game for really um, uh, firing on all cylinders and, and seeing what that would bring out of Tina. Um, and what, what do you want audiences to take away from this film? Um, I hope that they'll be, uh, think it was really fun and, and that they got emotionally involved. And um, uh, I, I think it's a great date movie, essentially. Um, and men will not um, be overly angry at their, <laughs> at their significant other for bringing them to it.